Hey guys, it's Missy with Rustic Relics, and in this video, we're just gonna do some decoupaging on this old frame that I have to give it kind of um, some, like a high-end art look, or whatever. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is paint my backer board with Dixie Belle Buttercream. It's just a soft white. Um, for what I've got, the look that I'm going for with these pieces, I don't want it to be super bright or anything like that. So buttercream worked out really good. So we're going to get that painted and set it to the side and then the frame. Okay, so this is, um, it used to have like a mirror in it. It went to some kind of vanity or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I didn't want to toss it. So what I'm going to do is just use Dixie Belle's Weeping Willow and give it a good coat. It's old, I'm gonna distress it, so I'm not worried about perfect coverage, but this paint really does cover really well. So I'm just gonna paint it and let it dry. And so you can see all of the old varnish that's just built up on there. So we're just gonna take some sandpaper and go over it and let that detail shine. This was really easy. It didn't take a lot of elbow grease or anything. So we wiped it down and now we're going to apply the Mod Podge to the backer board since it's completely dry. And in this video, we're going to do the iron on method. So I'm just going to put a nice thin, even coat of Mod Podge. Make sure you get all of the edges. So that way, when you go to iron your paper on, it sticks there. We're going to let it dry all the way. And here is the Dixie Belle decoupage paper. So you got two images on this one. One's landscape, one's portrait. And for what we're doing, we're gonna need the landscape one. So I'm just gonna pull this out. Both of these images are really pretty. I am on the lookout for um, a frame that I can use the other one in, a portrait size frame. Um, I'm, I think that one would be really pretty to do too. So I'm just going to use some scissors and I'm going to split these two images in half. I'm just following the white line. I want to be careful not to cut off too much of the other one and not to cut off the image that I'm going to use. So really easy though. And then we'll save this one for another project. So now that my Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to lay my paper on there. Get it how I position it how I want it to be and this little Cricut mini press I got from a friend so I'm just going to use it and some parchment paper and we're going to iron this on so I just lay my parchment paper down and then I take the iron and I go over the entire um, board making sure that my decoupage paper is heated up and glued to the backer board you want to make sure you pay attention to the edges so that way it doesn't peel up and then you just want to look and make sure that you don't see any air bubbles where maybe you missed it with the iron. Um, and then after that's cooled off, I like to just take some sandpaper and then go in a downward motion to get the excess paper off. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure. It's really easy to tear off this way. So now that that's ready, we're just going to go ahead and seal up the decoupage paper with Dixie Belle clear coat in flat um, that way it still has that matte finish I don't want it to be super shiny or anything like that but you just want to put a really good coat and then you don't want to work overwork it and then you want to walk away and let it be okay now it's my turn we're going to use a number one Phillips to attach it with we're going to use three quarter inch screws they're going to be number four three quarter inch so they're going to be really tiny screws we're only going to need about six of them. I get out more than I need. You want to drive them in, but don't overdrive them because you don't want to damage the wood that you're attaching it to and you don't want to damage the piece that you're actually attaching. It's pretty straightforward, nice and easy. Do what Missy asks and get it done. That was all I had to do. Okay, so now that Rodney has the back attached to my frame, I'm just going to seal up my chalk paint with some clear wax. I'm just going to wipe it on and then buff it back off. And that is it. I thought this was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I like this paper and I can't wait to hang it up on the wall. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. 